and welcome to our webinar, CPG Industry, Key Themes in 2023 Outlook. Happy to welcome Nick Modi back for another Food Institute webinar. Uh, Nick Modi is a Managing Director at RBC Capital Markets, where he is responsible for covering the beverage, household personal care, packaged food, and tobacco industries. So let's go, go on in terms of what's going on with the economy. I have three rules of thumb, right? Gas and food inflation has a direct bearing on lower income consumers and their purchasing power. The housing market has the direct implication on middle income consumers and their purchasing power. And the stock market has direct implication on the high income consumers. And so I wanted to kind of talk about the consumer within that context. When you think about kind of where we are now and we think about the next, let's say the rest of 2023, consumers are really not that, that well positioned for a downturn. Um, so that suggests to me that even higher, higher income consumers are making choices um, right now that perhaps they were not making um, late last year. Trade down is happening, right? But is there a way to capitalize on it? So the question is, what other out-of-home experiences can you bring into the home? And I'm not talking about just putting together a basket of items. Is there anything within the innovation pi pipelines of your companies that you can bring to the market that can provide a reasonable value out-of-home experience in the home? But could we see any events that could cause another spike in costs. And this is what I worry the most about. China's reopening could disrupt the current logic and the current trend. You're gonna see a lot of spending happen in China as a result. So this revenge spend that we saw in the US, I think is gonna be magnified in China. And again, that's gonna have direct bearing on supply demand dynamics with many very important input costs that we all have to deal with. What happens if we see another spike in inflation? Now, let me just provide some thoughts on Cagney. And I want to, you know, take about 10 minutes and then I'll have plenty of time for Q&A. And just a reminder, the balance of power is shifting away from traditional institutions like companies and brand marketers and into the hands of the individuals, likely to be the single largest disruptive force in terms of centers of power and influence. You know, been an area that I think has been lacking in the consumer products industries. How do you really engage a physical product that you eat versus something digital? So it's really, really important that we keep in mind the consumer value equation when thinking about sustainability. But let's not lose sight of this huge population that has a lot of money to spend because they have nothing to spend it on but themselves. Great. Thank you for the presentation, Nick. You know, we always learn a lot. Didn't realize we're going to learn a little bit about cricket today, too. So thanks <laughs> for sharing that. But I'm just wondering, do you see any kind of, uh, you know, opportunity for CPG makers going in and creating products that are offered on a limited time basis? Like Absolutely. That? I think limited time offerings are very, very important, but you have to be very smart about how you do so it. So I think that's going to bring us to the end of today's presentation. Uh, once again, Nick, I really want to thank you for joining us. As always, an excellent conversation. I'd like to take the chance to thank City National Bank as well for sponsoring the event. Um, finally, if you want to keep up with us, make sure you visit foodinstitute.com newsletters. There you'll be able to sign up for our weekly and daily newsletters.